All right, so it's a little after 8 a.m. We got here nice and early uh, just to get everything set up, but uh, I want to show you guys the roast pig. Uh, looks nice, huh? It's a good sized pig. We got Kuya there cooking it. See, it's an uh, open fire. Got the fire on the side. Starting to brown nice. I gotta show you the little community. There's uh, Wilma and Judea. So they're starting to just settle up. And uh, there's a bunch of people over there uh, preparing food now. Um, but uh, Alex's truck is full and uh, our truck uh, is full of rice so we got to unload the rice yet. A little bit of a challenge getting down here because the uh, road was real narrow but the, the truck made it. But doesn't this look uh, delicious? Alright so before the party gets started I just want to just go over this beautiful home here uh, that was uh, built by Justin. Justin uh, made it happen. If you guys remember, if you follow his channel, um, Typhoon Odette was a little more than a year ago, and it was a big typhoon. And I know a lot of uh, Southern Leyte and Bahol and Cebu suffered greatly as well, but this area uh, got hit pretty hard. And uh, this is uh, one of his friend's house, Alex. And uh, what happened was there's this big tree and you can see the stump. Look how big this tree is. A big water tank is on it. Look how large this tree is. It's a, it's a big uh, mango tree. And that's a thousand liter? 1,000 liter tank. So look how big that tree is. Well, that tree broke off and fell on Alex's house. Now, thank God no one was injured. However, a big branch uh, took out Alex's daughter's bedroom while they were in the bedroom sleeping. And the reason why it didn't go all the way through and, and hurt them is because his truck was parked alongside of the home, as Justin tells the story, and uh, that took the brunt. Now the truck was damaged, but uh, his children wasn't, thank God. And not too far from here, Justin tells the story, and I remember seeing it on the videos back when I was uh, in Leyte, when I was living in Leyte that uh, a coconut tree fell on a home not too far from here and killed two little girls, uh, you know, during the night in the middle of the storm. Unbelievable. So what Justin was able to do was uh, get a bunch of friends together and uh, get enough money to build this structure. And this structure was built very strong, all steel, no wood, uh, all rebar, very similar to how we built. No wood in the rafters. And uh, now this is, uh, you know, call it as typhoon proof as you can get. Um, and it's a, a couple of big rooms. And I'll just see if I can uh, peek inside here a little bit. Look how beautiful it is. So there's a bedroom there, this here. There's another bedroom over there. Now a little story about this. It's attached to Alex's house, but he won't move his daughters in here even though this is beautiful home here because um, according to Justin, Alex is shy. He doesn't want his kids to live in such a beautiful home uh, when there's other people in this barangay that you know still live in you know, very modest homes. So he's just keeping this for typhoons. So all the local people who live in you know little bamboo uh, houses can come here for shelter uh, so amazing this amazing story but just look at the the work uh, that Justin was able to pull off so I wanted to share that story with you guys now many of you may have already heard that story if you follow his channel but I wanted to share that with you all right so uh, it's still early but uh, the kids are starting to come in look at all the kids so they're all starting to uh, filter in. It's all the moms. 
and uh, there's a bunch of cooks out back. So uh, all the all the food preparation is is out back. But uh, all the people from the Brongai are starting to to file in. So uh, the festivities are starting. So what we're doing now is we're getting all the kids together, and we want to do a, a group photo. So we'll go ahead and uh, start that. So doing a quick prayer. Lamet Kayo. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> Can I see? Ah, very nice. <laughs> Handing out the bread. <laughs> So as you can see, uh, the roasted pig was a big success. Everyone uh, definitely got their fill. So. Uh, now everyone's just kind of relaxing, getting ready for uh, the games, trying to stay out of the sun a little bit. Well, I mean, it's a blue sky day, very, very uh, bright, very Maina Kayo. Uh, they're bringing out the uh, bags of rice. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, handing out uh, five kilos of rice uh, to, uh, to the families. And then it will be game time. We also got tons of shoes for kids and toys. And rice for everyone. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's a video out there you guys gotta search for. It. These two good looking gentlemen were out all over Dumaguete looking for uh, chinillas, right? Sandals, toys. Yeah, actually, after we made that video, people sent more money. So we had to go shopping again. I had to go back so down. We bought everything, so we walked all over the freaking city yesterday. <laughs> days of shopping. It has been hot the last few days too. So hot right now. So uh, game time coming up here soon. So we got some uh, kids eyeing the prizes. So there's a bunch of uh, flip flops and some uh, little toys. I saw a couple basketballs down there. Looks like a volleyball. So uh, the kids are seeing. Uh, the uh, presents starting to come out, so uh, they're starting to ease over uh, and uh, eye up what uh, they may win if uh, they win any games. All right, so uh, what they're doing is uh, they have so many sandals, and you can see Wilma's there. The kids automatically lined up from shortest to tallest, so. I'm sitting here saying to myself, they just must do that in school uh, when they get in line. Uh, because I didn't hear anybody uh, direct anybody to go uh, shortest to tallest, but that's going to help out because what Wilma's doing is allowing the kids to pick what they want. They could pick a toy, they could pick uh, a sandals, uh, they call them chinellas here. So uh, they're going through, and there's, I mean, bags on bags of uh, different gifts. So what they're doing is uh, they're lining up and then uh, Wilma, Judea, and there's another lady there just helping the kids uh, pick, decide what they, uh, what they want. So look at the turnout. A lot of kids, everyone's very happy. Uh, we've been hearing thank you a uh, hundred times already. And uh, there was lots of food and everyone's uh, really having uh, a nice time. All right, so look at all the rice. They're all uh, five kilo bags of rice. 
And look who's on the microphone. Shy Wilma. She's got the microphone and, and uh, what Alex did, that's Alex right there, is uh, they're handing it out by family. So they know, Alex knows the families. So just so every family gets a bag of rice, uh, he knows everybody, so that's how they're handing it out. So like one family won't get like three bags of rice and then one family gets nothing. So that, that's how they're doing it. So, but it, look at Wilma, she's got uh, the microphone and uh, they're yelling out the names. So you can see Wilma's having a good time. It's a big tub of candy, all different types of sweets and candies. And uh, throwing it. She's handing it out to everybody. Throwing them up in the air. So everyone's having a real good time. This is what it's all about, guys. It's about, uh, you know, giving to the less fortunate. Having a good time. Everyone's so appreciative. It's a beautiful day. The food was great, you know, stress-free living, no worries, and this is uh, what Christmas is all about. So this is called the spatula game. So there's candy and then small bills, and I actually see uh, a $2 bill in there, 100 pesos. So they blindfold the kid and then they give them a spatula and they get one scoop and you can see uh, what they get so she got a bunch of candy but there's uh, there's money in there so there's a hundred peso bill in there so that's two dollars so look at all the kids all lined up and this is called the spatula game all right, here's the next game. So you see that pot with all the soot on it? All right, so what the game is, is they say a word. So I think Wilma's going to be the judge here. Wilma will say a word uh, in Basaya. So like this is a cup. So she'll say cup in Basaya. And then the person has to hear it in Basaya and say the word back in English. So they would have to say cup. And if they get it right, they get a candy. If they get it wrong, they have to wipe their hand on that sooty uh, bucket there or bowl and wipe the soot on their face. So that's the game. And uh, the kids are starting to line up and I'll try to get it on camera if possible. Ah, she got it. Glasses. <laughs> so far, three for three. Hair, yay! So far, everybody's getting it. Hi. They know their English. Questions are getting harder. Ah, look, look this way. Ah, got, got a couple wrong. The questions are getting harder. <laughs> be honest with you, some of the questions I don't know. Country that starts with L. London. No, it's not country. You got to do the black. <laughs> All right, you can see that these guys got a couple answers wrong. Nothing like a good old fashioned sack race. You can see that they're in sacks of rice. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner. 
All right, it's getting interesting. So it's the old guys against the young guys. Wait, wait, wait. And one baby. That's what they call it. <laughs> one baby. So it's old, five old guys, four young guys, one baby. <laughs> And the winner, winning team gets 500 pesos. <laughs> it's happened on one foot. Dollar dance. <laughs> 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 You can see that uh, everyone's still here having a great time. Did a lot of games. Everybody's just hanging around, uh, just laughing and talking, and uh, really enjoyed ourselves today. This is uh, what Christmas is all about. Christmas party. Yes, Christmas party, you're correct. Having a good time, laughing. It's all about the kids. And uh, it's really been an enjoyable day. And uh, special thanks to uh, Justin and Judea. Uh, for putting this together and uh, inviting us. Uh, it's been uh, very fulfilling and uh, we've uh, really had a good time. And I think you've noticed that uh, Wilma is uh, really took charge. She was involved in all the games, laughing, and uh, it's, a, it's a real good time. So uh, Merry Christmas to everybody.